Hey guys, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we're looking at example 13.2, hydrolysis of a peptide. All right, so we've heard that word hydrolysis before. It simply means water breaks or water cuts. So we're gonna be breaking a bond using water. So let's uh, take a look at this structure. It is a peptide. And if it's a peptide, therefore it must have a peptide bond. So let's just go ahead and put a circle or a square, some kind of somehow indicate the peptide bond. Now notice how inside that square the atoms are bolded. So that's to draw your attention to it. Now remember on an exam, those won't be bolded. They'll just be written. So you'll have to know what to look for. Look for the amide bond, the carbonyl bonded to an oxygen, amide bond. This is a, more specifically a peptide bond because it's an amide that's connecting amino acids. All right, let me uh, quickly redraw our peptide just so we will have some different colors to work with. It's always good to learn this stuff using colors to help you indicate who's going where and who's with who. You know, it's just better to learn with color, I think. And speaking of color, I need to change the color there, don't I? Let's go into red, because, you know, red is just a really nice color. Carbon, e, carbon, hydrogen, and then CH3 here. Big old valine. OH, there we go. And here is our amide bond. Now, I'm going to draw water. I'm going to draw water in orange, just because. Now, water is going to break the peptide bond. It's going to destroy it. It's going to break it into a carboxylic acid and an amine. Okay. okay, so, so remember, remember that. that. A peptide, peptide bond, bond will break, break apart, apart to give you a carboxylic acid, acid and an amine. Now let's, now let's take, take a look, look at how that happens. happens. Here's, Here's my green amino acid, acid alanine. alanine. There's, There's the, the carbonyl. carbonyl. Now, now, we have, we to, have put to put an OH, OH on, on there. That, that came from water. water. came from right here. Plus... Now we have to draw the second amino acid that's in red, N, H, and I'll notice how I didn't put two H's on there yet, because I have to change color. Orange. And that hydrogen there came from there. So, it's the opposite of building a peptide. You simply... Uh, uh, use water, use water to, tear to tear the peptide, the peptide bond, bond apart using water. water. And when you when build up peptide, peptide bonds, you actually you make a molecule of water um, uh, from doing that. that. So, so it's, it's the, the reverse. reverse. Uh, you can uh, think you of it as this is how you digest, digest protein, protein, perhaps. perhaps. Or, or if it goes the, the other way, way, it's how you build up protein. So this is an example of digestion. Now this is usually done in the presence of acid or some other kind of enzyme or something like that. But you get the idea. An amide, amide bond, bond in the presence, in the presence of, water of water can, can uh, uh, fall apart into a carboxylic acid, acid and, and the amine. amine. Now again, again the chemistry is getting, getting a little complicated, complicated. so if you're having so a hard time, time with it, that's okay. That's okay. Just make sure make you get sure yourself to the Academic Success, Success Center, Center and, uh, and uh, you know get you some, get some uh, help, from help from them, them. or you can or come on by and see a professor. We're here to help you, so please don't hesitate to come by and ask. And with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.